Hello, this is Dr. Greg Goblin, Fair State University, and the purpose of this video is just a very quick orientation to Maltigo just to get you going. I am using the Community Edition 4.2.9, which you can download from Maltigo and register it. So once you have it registered and fired up, this is what you get. It looks pretty much the same in Windows as it does the Mac. And one of the really useful things for Meltigo is it's a tool where you can uh, put information on a palette and link information and see how information and data people and things are related but you can also mine data from open source areas we'll just create a really quick chart first and if you go over here on the left and I'm on the entities area you'll see there's a few things that you can scroll through and I am usually a person that uses a laptop and just uses the mouse pad built into the uh, laptop. But there's some things in Lincoln Visual Analysis software such as Maltigo where it can be useful to use a mouse with a scroll wheel for zooming and things like that. Uh, but let's just uh, take a person and put a person out here. And then you can double click on the person and give that person a name. Uh, now, if you can't see it, you can just use the scroll wheel uh, to make it a zoom in a little bit. But, uh, you know, let's just uh, say it's Tom, Tom Thumb. Okay, and that gets you started. You can also double click these entities um, and you can have some other things come up where you can put in notes about that person, uh, maybe uh, a, a little bit more um, additional information, attach Word documents, pictures, videos, or other things related to that, that person. But in general, now we have a person. Uh, you might have a, a company, and we can say, okay, uh, it defaults to Paterva, who is the organization that provides Maltigo. Well, perhaps you just want to relate Tom to Paterva, and you can do that. If you want to put a label on it, you could simply say something like, works at. You can change the color, uh, the style, solid, dashed line, etc. Well, let's make it dashed for whatever reason, just to show it off that way. Thickness, let's make it medium thickness, and you can have a description on there, whatever. And now you have a dashed line. So let's scroll through and grab maybe another thing to, to put on the chart. Um, phone number and let's say this is that person's phone number and you could do the same thing draw a line whether you put a label on it or not just take the defaults and, and now you have uh, a dashed line and a dotted line excuse me a dashed line in a solid line often when people are creating charts these mean specific things. So for example, you might think he works at Paterva, but you haven't confirmed it. So you put a dotted line and that may represent uh, unconfirmed information. And then when you confirm it, perhaps you go back in uh, and, and make that line uh, a solid line after you find out, yeah, okay, that person really is uh, working there. The colors can mean things and so forth. But but that's the basics behind creating a, a chart where you're entering information from the palette. Uh, it could be good to put a little title on here and so forth. Uh, but one thing I wanted to point out is sometimes uh, you might think this default palette is a little bit limited. Well, you can go out into Manage Entities, and again, you're in the Entity Painter. And these are the ones that are listed. If something isn't showing up, um, for example, the movie, uh, database because we're going to use that in a little bit. Um, click on these three lines and go into the display settings, advanced settings, pardon me. Uh, if you want it to be a palette item, uh, you, you would, would check that so that it would, would display uh, on there. So now if I were to, to scroll through, I now have movies showing up. Those weren't, weren't there before. Uh, if there's something that you need to create, uh, a, a, this is just a person, maybe you wanted to uh, do something like uh, male, female, where you can create a new entity and let's call it, you know, female. And 
and you can have a description and so forth but the category that's which of the things over here on the left it fits into so it'll be personal so it shows up next to the person and you can go out and browse the icons there's a number of icons we're in the general tab go to the people tab and uh, we can just pick this one and if you need more information you can put it in there and so forth um, now on the female and settings you know, make sure it shows up and now we have a female that we can add to our chart and I double clicked it versus just highlighted it but I can give it a name now um, Susan Smith or something like that and I have that little dash in front of it maybe I don't want that I can go back and edit it here delete that off and if there's a relationship uh, I can maybe do something like this And I can have two kinds of arrows on there. Now I can move them around to whether or not they are uh, over, overlapped or not. Um, probably should have changed that to say spelled correctly. But that's the type of thing you can do with, with Maltigo. Um, you can do other things as well. If you click this uh, create a new chart, uh, I, I have installed a transform. So if you go into the transforms, which is the transform hub, there's some free ones and then there's some that are for purchase. So for example, the, the Shadow Dragon um, transform for uh, social network analysis, social net, really a nice transform if you want to do some things that will link things together for you for Facebook or other uh, social network areas uh, but there's this free movie one that I installed so let me give you an idea how that works so let's go back create a new create a new chart and we previously brought the movies out here uh, but I can just take a phrase and let's just drop a phrase out here and my phrase is going to be Star Wars. And I can do a right click and run the movies database transform and, and you can see it'll break up a little bit. But uh, let's just see what movies might be related to Star Wars. It'll go out and mine things. And there are Star Wars movies. and. With Maltigo, you can see over to the right is uh, uh, another view because if you zoom in and out, uh, you may or may not be able to see everything. So now this gives you an idea of what part of the palette you're looking at. Um, but let's uh, let's select this whole area and run the transform again. But this time, let's find out uh, the talent, and this will bring back. Uh, the top 13 or so actors that are or actresses that are on each movie and you can quickly see that our chart has exploded in terms of size so for, this is again the zoom in zoom out and there are going to be actors and actresses that overlap between the movies and you can change the view to, to bubble sizes and so forth uh, that'll help you determine uh, who has uh, more links so for example there are some actors or actresses that are going to be on them in multiple movies and some that are going to just have a bit part and so forth this is uh 
just uh, the top 13 because we have the community edition. If you get a, a paid for version, a lot of the results aren't nearly as restricted. Um, let's say we want to, to zoom into that area. We can go even farther and, and find relationships. But there's a, a number of things you can do with Maltigo. Your assignment, I think you have some ideas on how if you need to um, create terrorists or weapons or things like that, go out and create some icons and uh, drag them on, put something behind them and uh, build some charts and be creative. Uh, you can bring things in and out to the clipboard and uh, this is a very powerful tool uh, for network analysis. So for example, maybe you want to do some penetration testing uh, visual analysis. Good tool for it. So there you go. That's Meltigo. Hope it gets you started.